Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Guys, it's literally so hot right now, I'm sweating. I'll try to wipe it. I don't know if you can see on my fingers or maybe if I do a close-up, you can see. It's hot! But regardless, I'm gonna do this video for you guys right now. But as always, you guys know me as FIFA Fita here, back again with another weekly soccer update video. Sorry I haven't been as consistent as before. I'm kind of busy right now. But there's also been a lot less games being played right now, so there's not that much to cover. But anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the Champions League and the Europa League. And you guys are gonna have to excuse the fan I need it on, it's down here, so if you hear that, just ignore it. So let's hop right in. Okay guys, it's currently 30 minutes until kickoff for the Bayern and Barca game. And since I'm not gonna be home later, and I don't wanna make this video super late, I'm gonna do it right now. But first things first, let's talk about the first quarter final matchup. It was amazing, it was emotional, and there was a lot of excitement. So ever since the 26th minute, PSG were losing 1-0. And as you guys may well know, in the 90th minute, Marquinhos came and scored a goal. Now, three minutes after that, Chupo Motin came to score the winner. It was insane! We've seen so many comebacks in the Champions League, but this is definitely up there for one of the most exciting ones. I mean, two goals in the final three minutes? Crazy. But let's not give all the praise to PSG right now. Let's give it to Atalanta, actually. This was their first Champions League. They made it to the quarterfinals and were only a couple minutes away to make it into the semis. Unfortunately, because the way things turned out, that didn't happen. But let's give them major props. They finished third in the Serie A, so that means that they're still going to play Champions League next year. So let's hope they're the same team. And I mean, they were just killing it in Serie A and Champions League. So they won all our hearts, especially mine. So I just want to say right here, right now, congratulations Atalanta, I'm proud of you, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the world is too. So keep your head up. And over onto some more heroic action, we have RB Leipzig versus Atletico Madrid. If I'm being honest, I thought the match was pretty boring, there wasn't as much action. But RB Leipzig managed to get the win in the 88th minute. And the goal was kind of lucky if I'm being honest. But hey, it went in, so that's all that matters. But this is the thing that I want to talk about. It's Leipzig's first time reaching the semi-final. And the craziest statistic as of yet, they've only been a club for 11 years. 11 years, bro, that's 5, 10, plus one more. And they're killing it in the Bundesliga and so far in the Champions League. So let's see where they end up. And not to mention they're also going into the Champions League next year because they finished third in the Bundesliga. So props to them and Atalanta for this year's success. But let's move over to Atletico Madrid now. They still remain unlucky. As you guys may well know, their history with Real Madrid in the Champions League finals is not the best. And they always get knocked out. And I mean, they've never won the Champions League. So this loss against Leipzig must really hurt. I think they were coming in as favorites due to the fact that Leipzig didn't have Werner anymore. But the defense that Leipzig was carrying was just so strong. And they're just such a good team all around. So there wasn't a surprise. But you gotta admit, you kind of do feel bad for Atletico Madrid. Well, there's always next year. Okay, and then to the final two quarterfinal matchups. Like I said earlier, Barca and Bayern in a few minutes. And I'm not going to say who I think is going to win. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. And we're going to see the actual score later. And then tomorrow we have City versus Lyon. Also, I'm not going to be predicting that either. So this means that may be a video soon. So enough of the Champions League right now. That's a lot of talking. Let's move over to the Europa League like I promised. We're finally into the Europa League semifinals. And our first matchup is going to be on Sunday the 16th. And it's going to be Man United versus Sevilla. Third time. I'm not going to do any predictions. I'm going to let you guys decide. And when the time comes and the game is all set and done, I'm gonna make a video. But either way, that's gonna be a pretty exciting game in my opinion. And then Monday, a day after that, we have the next semifinal, which is gonna be Inter Milan versus Shakhtar. And again, one last time, not gonna predict. So this means that we definitely have a lot of exciting games coming up soon. So stay tuned to the channel, guys, because you guys know me, I'm covering it all. And then I think I'm just gonna add this just like as a little random thing. But Blaze Matuidi actually joined Inter Miami. Who would have expected this? Because definitely not me. But hey, I mean, I guess it's a good thing the MLS seems to be growing in recent years. And with players like Matuidi coming in, it's only going to get bigger. So high hopes for the MLS in the coming years. But anyways, that's all I really got for today. I'm going to be doing an update soon of the Champions League and the Europa League. So stay tuned. And the recent support that I've been receiving is just amazing. So I want to say thank you guys. You guys know me. I appreciate every single one of you guys so, so much. I mean it. But if you did like what you see, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what you guys would like to see, especially regarding FIFA gameplay. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.